Hello, I hope you're having a fabulous day today. So today I created this gorgeous soft glam pink like Valentine's vibe look. Absolutely loving it. I think it's perfect for like uh, Galentine's Day, uh, Valentine's Day, going out for drinks, lunch, shopping, whatever. It is quite a lot of eyeshadow but I absolutely love it and I think it's just a spot on for just Valentine's Day. Absolutely a perfect look and it's the perfect look for me. So if you want to know how I created this look and then keep on watching but if you do like these types of videos then please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, all that stuff and we're just going to jump right into this video and I'm going to show you how I created this look. So eyebrows are done, all carved out. I used an old MUA pencil that I just want to use up and I absolutely loved this when I first bought it. And my P. Louise base. I've also sprayed a little bit of the PS Serenity Hydrating Priming Spray and it's got hyaluronic acid infused with jasmine and vanilla fragrance and it smells divine. It just smells amazing, absolutely love that. So for my eyeshadow, I thought we're going for a bit of a nice meal out, Valentine's Day, like, soft glammy look i pull out my old favorite my modern renaissance it's looking a little bit bashed but i mean how does that not scream valentine's day i've only hit pan on this one but it's gorgeous and i've also pulled out my jue um metamorphosis face and eye palette because that has got some lovely like pinks and mauves in there that i may dip into so we're just gonna see how we get on with this so i'm just gonna grab some brushes Okay, so I'm going to want to go super soft with this. So I'm going to go pinks and browns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, this dark brown from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to take this on a really small detailed brush. And I'm just going to make sure my fingers are clean. And make sure there's no creases on my eye. And I'm just going to pat this just in the outer portion. And kind of up through the crease. I'm not going to go the whole way literally just that that's all i'm gonna do okay and i'm gonna go in with this uh peaches and cream pc 161 brush and i'm just gonna take this i think it says barn fresco it's like pinky right here i'm just gonna pick this up and this is a slightly detailed brush but a bit fluffier and i'm just gonna pat that up and kind of all the way through the crease there and just keep patting just a little bit on the outer portion just to help blend that dark brown into the rest of the eye and then I'm just gonna blend a little bit uh, probably I'm gonna take a bit of a bigger fluffy brush to blend it all in together because I don't want this harshness I want it all just nice and soft and just valentine'sy and just all lovely Ah. I do feel like I'm still loving this palette though. I mean, it's been so long since I've used it and it was like, back in the day, it was just the, it was it was so popular and it's still, you know, it's still available now, but I don't really feel like I gravitate towards it anymore. And I think it's because there's so many more new things come out that you just don't, do you? You just buy the new things and don't use what you've already got, which is just a travesty when you've got such lovely, nice makeup, so. This is my plan for 2023 to get into the makeup that I've already got. I'm going to take uh, this Zoeva 228 Luxe Cre Crease Brush and I'm going to go in with this lighter pink here from the Jouer palette and I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush and just blend that into the original like mauve pink from Anastasia and just use it to diffuse all of that dark brown as well okay that's looking nice i just feel like i want to diffuse this deeper brown up a little bit and just bring it in slightly more because i am liking the fact that i've given myself a lot of lid so i can use like a lot of shimmer i just want to bring it in a little bit more um and just even it up a little bit because i feel like i'm not even right now so i'm gonna take the same brush so i'm gonna take the same like detail brush and I'm just going to very lightly pat into that brown. I may even go with a lighter brown. In fact I am going to. I'm going to go with red octane which is like a brown red and I'm going to take that on that brush and I'm just going to slightly just 
very lightly bring that in and straight away use the brush that I've had the lighter pink on and just blend and that's really softening softening the look out so this just goes to show how much higher I have to kind of go like this to make this eyebrow look as even as this one it's just ridiculous okay so that's looking a little bit more even and a little bit more diffused but I feel like there's not enough pink in it for me so I'm going to go back in with this light pink and try and just diffuse the top part of the look just with that pink because I just want it just soft super soft pink just so girly and pretty and cute that's kind of the look that I've got in my mind Never it'll turn out like that, it's a completely different story. I am thinking like a half lash as well, which I just think would just look amazing. Okay, so the pink is really starting to come through a little bit. I think I'm going to take a cleaner brush though, because I feel like uh, the 50-50 technique that I've used has picked up a bit of the darker brown and it's just kind of like muddying it through. So I'm going to go in with this clean peaches and cream brush and back in with that pink. And really pack some colour onto the brush. And just blend there there we go okay liking that liking that I'm just gonna do the same with the other eye again okay, I don't know whether it's my eyes or what but I literally feel like there's no light in here today I don't know what's going on okay so really liking that so far and I think we're gonna go back in with refresh from the Juvia's uh, from the Jouer palette which is this color right here and just put that just uh, like over that red octane a little bit because I feel like that's just a bit lost so I'm going to take this smaller, fluff, smaller fluffy-ish brush and I'm just going to that like that up through the crease and just pat it into that darker brown because I'm going to use a shimmer as well and I do feel like I give myself quite a lot of lid space to do this I think I'm going to refresh the base that's on my lid as well Okay, yeah, loving that. So we've gone lighter to dark until a lighter again. Okay, I'm just going to cut the crease now again and I'll do that off camera because it will take me forever. Okay, so I have cut the crease with some NYX uh, glitter primer. I'm going to take my peaches and cream loose pigment in Kitten, which is a lovely, like, oh god, focus. Which is like a lovely shimmery pink and I'm just going to put that on the lid just like that it falls everywhere but I do love it I mean how pretty is that that is so cute it's just such a lovely subtle shimmer pink obviously there's loads of fallout and there is a mess but we're going to sort that out so we're not panicking we're not panicking I'm going to do a little bit of clean up now before I do the rest of my eyes because it is everywhere. So I feel like I can put a little bit more of a deep brown in the outer portion and I think I'm going to go in with Transform from the Jouer palette which is this one right here. I'm just going to take that on like a fluffy brush, like a small fluffy brush though, uh, like this Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to take very lightly and I'm just going to pat that in again and just pull it outwards again and just blend that into the shimmer as well that is actually not as deep as the other brown so I'm going to go back in with the other brown now from the Modern Renaissance palette I thought it was deeper but it's not it looks deeper in the pan but it doesn't come out as deep it comes out a lot more um, of an orangey brown who you knew so light the lightest touch there and then just up halfway through the crease okay so my camera rudely interrupted me there um it cut itself out so i've deepened up the outer portion a little bit as well and i'm just going to go in and just soften the whole thing up now now i will call this like a soft glam look a lot of people would say that this is like more of a full glam for them but if i was going full glam i would really really like just do mad lashes and just the whole thing but this is more soft for me so I'm just gonna take as well this shade here from the metamorphosis uh, from the yeah the metamorphosis palette and that's called Dreamcatcher 
And I'm just gonna put that on my brow bone. I mean, I could glam this up, put like a full on wing liner with it uh, and whatnot, but I'll save that for another video, I think. Okay, so my under eye, I'm just gonna take the little detail brush with the original deep brown and just sweep that kind of halfway across and up into that outer portion. So just bringing that literally like halfway across. There's a lot of fallout on this colour. I'm just going to take like this soft pencil brush and go in with this colour right here and just run that along the bottom lashes just to blend that in and just right along into the outer portion or inner portion of the eye I should say. And I'm just going to take this Makeup Revolution eye pencil in the shade Nude. I'm just going to do my inner, uh, my waterline with that. I feel like that's really going to like open up the eye. I feel like this is just a soft, pretty pink brown look. Loving it. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little bit of clean up so you can see how good it's going to look once it's cleaned up. And it will kind of like help to soften the look down a bit. See, it just looks so much better with that clean up. Okay, I'm going to go and do some mascara and some lashes and I'm just going to put a half lash on because again, I don't want this to be like a full on glam look. It is kind of starting to edge that way, which is not what I wanted, but I'm kind of loving this at the minute. I'm going to do a half lash and I'm going to come back and stop rabbiting on, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so those are my half lashes done. Absolutely loving them. I used my W7. Uh, I lost mascara for our top and bottom lashes and then I just cut one um, I love, I don't even know what these lashes are, they look like this, um, in half, just cut one in half and then did half one on each eye and I just think it really sets the look off really nicely, uh, just absolutely loving that. So, ooh, mess everywhere. Um, I've also primed and I used my Revolution Pro Protecting Primer Serum um, with anti it's an anti-pollution primer, it's funny, for some reason the lid on it is broken. Um, but this is it's it's quite a nice primer it, it's it's quite hydrating it's you know it's nothing to write home about but it's all right to just want to use it so i thought we would do like um a semi glowy skin my skin is a little bit dry at the minute if you've watched any of my previous videos i keep mentioning how dry my skin is and i've gone to town on the moisturizer and i'm going to use my maybelline fit me luminous and smooth um normal to dry skin foundation and I'm going to combine that with my Nivala Regeneration Uplifting, Uplifting Creamy Concealer. So I'm going to conceal first and I'm just going to, I'm not going to go to town with it, I'm not going to go mad because again this is just a nice like cash look, like a soft, softish look, you know it's not full glam or anything. Uh, I said I'm not going to go to town with it but I just put all of that on my face didn't I? I'm just going to take a brush and just buff that in to the places where I have highlighted and concealed with that. See how nice that blends in. I love this concealer. I've had it a while now and I am starting to gravitate towards it a little bit more. And I'm just going to take a smaller fluffier brush and just get right under the eye with that concealer. Obviously not right under it because we don't want to ruin the makeup we've already put on. I'm just going to put a bit on the end of my nose as well. As well there as well because I've got a bit of a spot on the end of my nose, like right on the end. I mean, ugh, why? I just really don't know what is happening with my skin at the moment. Okay, so I think that's looking really nice. I'm just going to go in with my foundation. I'm just going to take a couple, well, I'm just going to take the one pump for now because quite a lot came out there. And I'm going to take my Peaches and Cream PC19 brush, which is one of my absolute favourite foundation brushes. And I'm just going to pat that in so we don't want to like be full too much coverage um too much glam because it is we are aiming towards a bit of a softer glam look um like a very pretty look not full glam but like a softer look softer version of glam like a medium glam like a medium glam like when you want to look glam but you're not going somewhere you're not going out out do you know what i mean i feel like the driest bit of my skin as well is like there at the moment like the worst, it's like in the middle of my face, like the worst place it could possibly be. I just feel like the cleaning the eyes up and putting the foundation has like really softened the eye up. The eye just looked super intense. 
and like literally one pump of that pump of that foundation. Well, it was quite a big pump, but one pump is literally. I'm just gonna zoom you out a little bit. Has literally like covered the face, and I just love this foundation. I love the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and I love this one as well. I am gonna powder down because I have put a lot of moisturisers and things on, so I do think that's gonna start coming through at some point. And I still want to look glowy, but not greasy. See there, it's just like so much dry skin there. It's ridiculous. Okay, and because we're going a bit soft today, I want a bit of a softer contour. And for that, I absolutely love my W7 Contour Stick in Fair. For a lovely, like, softer contour, this just gives you what you need. I'm just going to do my nose as well, because I am getting better at contouring my big nose. And I'm just going to take this PC18 brush and just start buffing that upwards. See, I just love that contour. It's just so nice. It's unbelievable. It's only really cheap as well. I'm not sure you can still get it on the W7 website. I will check. Okay, so they have still got that on the W7 website and it is £4.95. So I, I do highly recommend it. I do have the shade Fair, which is, it's not super light. Um, it does suit my skin tone. And I do have a very fair complexion, very pale complexion. It also has the shade Neutral, Medium, and Medium Deep. However, the shade Medium is out of stock at the minute. Okay, I'm just going to go back in with the foundation brush and just tidy that up a little bit without having to put too much highlight on it or too much concealer. I may just put a little bit on though, just to, just because I like it, not for any reason, just just because I like it. Okay, I'm going to go in with my The Beauty Crop Beauty uh, Juice Pot Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Lynchy. And I'm gonna, this is super uh, pigmented, so I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to get a brush and just pick it up with the brush. And just lightly. Because I want to be very light with it. I do love these little juice pots. Uh, I got a set of three from TikTok shop, yes, spelled on a TikTok hole, as I usually do, and then you end up buying stuff that you don't need and all that stuff. But just look, I mean, I have, it's just so pretty, just so pretty. It is really like just softening the, the whole eye look right up. Okay, so I'm just going to set my under eyes because I feel like they're creasing slightly, and I'm just going to go in with my B. Um, pressed setting powder from Superdrug. I got this in the sale absolutely ages ago and I didn't really like it and I found that it is really good as like a base for setting my under eye. So I'll just take some on my puff. Uh, this is my LH Cosmetics puff and I just press it in and then I just press a little bit up there just to kind of lift the look a bit. I'll just put a little bit down the nose. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and this is the shade 05, which is fair. I'm just going to go very, very lightly with this. I'm just going to press that in all over. Because this is, I know it's the Maybelline Fit Me, but it doesn't say whether it's matte or poreless. It's just loose finishing powder and I do find that it's not like really drying or really mattifying on my skin, even though my skin is very dry at the minute. So I just think that it'll just go really nice, just really nice. I'm going to take a brush. I'm just going to brush away the excess on my under eye as well. And that's really, really brighten that under eye up. I do keep thinking that I'm going to try like the whole pink under eye thing. Um, but I don't know if I'm just a bit old for that. Let me know in the comments down below. You know me, you know, I have no, like, age doesn't really matter. But I just feel like with my creases, um, with my, I just feel like with my, um, with my lines, with my wrinkles, that that's what I mean by maybe being a little bit old for it, that it's, it just may not look quite as right as it does on, uh, someone's a little bit younger let me know in the comments down below if you want me to give it a try because I absolutely will do and if it doesn't work then it's only makeup I can I can take it off okay so we are going to bronze a little bit and I'm going to take my Tom Ford bronzer and this is in the shade 02 and I'm just gonna bronze up slightly I love this bronzer it's just it's just amazing it just gives me life and I 
my favourite bronzing bro brush is PCO4 brush. If you haven't checked out Peaches and Cream's brushes, just give them a little look-see because I don't think I've had one that I didn't like and I bought like a set. I don't usually buy sets. Um, I do like the P. Louise brushes as well, but the Peaches and Cream, I, just, I think they're just going to be my OG. Really are. I'm now going to use my Sigma blush art that I got for Christmas because I just love the shade of that. That would make a really amazing eyeshadow as well. I really do think that. So I'm just going to take that on my brush, give it a little swirl and then a little pat through. Look how pigmented. You just need like the lightest hand. I feel like that's gone a little bit too far. So I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to brush the excess off the brush and just blend that woods and I may even put a little bit more bronzer on just to tone it down again slightly. Okay and highlight even though you know a lot of people don't highlight anymore I still do and I'm going to take my Zoeva Screen Queen. Um, I love the packaging on this I mean it's so art deco I absolutely love it. I'm going to take the middle shade right here which is absolutely flawless wish I was and I'm just gonna give that a little swipe and then just... These are very, very subtle um, highlighters. I do feel like it takes like a little bit of going to get going, but once they get going, they're really nice. But if you are looking for something that's not too much, then perfect for you, absolutely perfect for you. I also like to do a little bit of my brow bone still as well. I'm just, I'm just old school, I just love it. I mean, just do what you like, really. Just do what you like, it's your face. It's not permanent, it comes off. Okay, absolutely loving that. And I'm going to go in with my Beauty Crop Cocoa Rose uh, Mist Hydrating Setting Spray. And this has like gold flecks in it. And the, you can see them on your, your skin. It just gives you like this just glow, like this shimmer. I feel like Edward Cullen when it's on. I just love it. Love it. Right, I need to decide what I'm going to put on my lips. So I'm going to get a lipstick. Okay, so because we're going for soft, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Bay lip liner in toast and my doll beauty lip gloss in i don't know what color this is this color i don't know why i can never see what these things are but if you go on the website you would choose your own color anyway you wouldn't choose necessarily my color my color might not be your color if you never tried these beauty bay lip liners uh i've only got a couple but they're just the what i've got is just like super soft really nice I would rec definitely recommend them. I mean, look at that. That just transforms the lip already. But we're going to go in with the gloss because we like it. Uh, just a little gloss. I think I just do the middle. Gorgeous. It's just such an effective, soft, glam look. I absolutely love it. So I have had my hair done at the hairdressers today and the curls are starting to fall slightly. But I quite like it. It's looking nice. And I just love this look. It's, it's just... It's perfect for Valentine's Day, for just going out um, for drinks, lunch, anything like that. Absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments down below if you recreate this look or tag me in social media. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!